some pictures. Thank you all. Thank you. Well, Fumail, welcome back to the White House. Welcome back to the Oval Office. It's good to have you here. U.S. President Joe Biden welcomed Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida to the White House on Wednesday as the two seek to showcase a strong and growing partnership focused on joint defense cooperation, including a new missile defense system. Together, our countries are taking significant steps to strengthen defense security cooperation. We're modernizing command and control structures and to increase the interoperability and planning of our militaries so they can work together in a seamless and effective way. The two leaders have their eye on China and Russia and were specifically asked about China during a joint news conference. On challenges concerning China, including the point you raised on objecting to unilateral attempts to change status quo by force or coercion, we concurred that Japan and the United States as global partners shall work in close coordination. The U.S. and Japan, along with Australia and the Philippines, held joint maritime exercises in the South China Sea Sunday, ahead of this summit. That's an area Beijing claims, but international law says belongs to the Philippines. The leader of the Philippines is coming to Washington later this week to meet with Biden and Kishida. The trans-Pacific diplomacy comes at a moment of tension with China, which continues to assert claims over the self-governing island of Taiwan. Chinese President Xi Jinping told former Taiwan President Ma Ying-jeou Wednesday that outside interference could not stop the family reunion between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait. Good evening, everyone. Please, please be seated. We are the same, Japan and the United States. Many, we may be divided by distance, but the generations after generation, we've been brought together the same hopes, the same values, the same commitment to democracy and freedom and to dignity, dignity for all. And today, without question, our alliance is literally stronger than it has ever been. We both remember that hard work, what it has done to find healing in where there was once such hardship. We both remember Japanese and American people who not only brought us together, but who brought us forward, transforming our relationship for better, from bitter foes to the best friends could we be. Tonight, we pledge to keep going. We stand at an inflection point where the decisions we make now are going to determine the course of the future for decades to come. Ladies and gentlemen, so please join me in raising your glass, and I don't have a glass. <laughs> there you go. Join me in raising 
take your glasses, to our alliance, to our friendship, and the words of those young students in Japan, to the same future we share. Cheers. 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 Japan and the United States are united than ever before. I believe that the Pacific Ocean has brought Japan and the United States together and so close because of the pioneering spirit of those who came before us and frontier spirit that we all have in common. Finally, let me conclude with a line from Star Trek, <laughs> uh, which you all know. To boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> Cheers. Somebody.